Wilson Morales from Black from a TV. Hey, Robert, how's it going? Great, man. How are you? Good. Now, this is a very bold, bodacious, big, large scale, totally 10 times what you've done in the past. You know, how did you get the people producing this to say, yes, I can do it. And here's my cast. <clears throat> I got to thank the, you know, the History Channel Viking TV show for like, like kind of reinvigorating pop culture's interest in, in Vikings. Because, you know, when I came with this script, I, you know, the, the studio easily could have said no. Uh, you know, it's not an IP, it's not a superhero movie, but because of, you know, what that, that TV show spawned other TV shows and video games. So the marketing people said, you know, people actually are interested in Vikings. Let's go for it. <laughs> I was lucky. Now, do you, did you always have in mind it was going to be as gory as you wanted it to be? Uh, you know, I tried to be uh, subtle. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, but I think that, you know, it, it was, I'm trying to walk a line where I'm making a film that has like thrilling action set pieces, uh, and, and has entertaining moments of violence, but also isn't glorifying violence. So some of the like brutality of the violence is in order to like not glorify it. And what did you want to do for, for this movie that's different from other stuff we, we've seen in the past. We don't want to say this is a hodgepodge of this and this and this. Well, I mean, in, like in, to some degree, it's this, you know, the story is deliberately simple and deliberately something that everybody knows. It's, it's Hamlet, it's the Lion King, right? Like everybody knows that story. But the thing that like has never been done before is no one's tried to make a historically accurate Viking movie. And this is the first, you know, like talking about those TV shows and video games, they're great, they're cool, but like, you know, Vikings didn't dress like they didn't and and here uh, i'm working with the archaeologists and historians to to, to do something different mm -hmm. and then you know as a director who's now elevated you know his game by doing this large scale of production what did you learn in the process you know in doing this with the budget you have that you can take on to your next project i learned everything I learned so much, it's insane. Like, you know, <clears throat> Ethan Hawke was there the, the last day of the shooting and he put his arm around me, my cinematographer, and he's like, well, congratulations, guys. You've done everything you can possibly do in a movie on this one, so you're set for the next one. I mean, you haven't done car chases and helicopters, but you don't want to do that stuff anyway, Rob. So, man, I, 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 mean, I learned everything. <laughs> And that's good because it, obviously we, we want to see you where it can go from here. Like, I'm not saying you need to do Michael Bay type of style, but at least we know you have the ability to go far if you can. Sure. I mean, and I think I'll leave Michael Bay movies to Michael Bay and, you know, Marvel movies to those directors. But like, you know, let's 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 see what else I'm capable of. <laughs> <laughs> and then talk to me about working with Alex, you know, and what he gave you that you wanted for this movie. Well, Alex, uh, he, he, unlike myself, was has been into Vikings his entire life, and he wanted nothing else but absolute perfection, and he delivered it, man. I mean, he tr transformed his body in ways that are, like, completely, insanely incredible. I mean, he's just massive, but also he delivers a powerhouse performance. His ferocity is, like, unbelievable, unbelievable. Well, like I said before, you know, you did an amazing job with this. It's a new step for you. Congratulations. I Thank look you. forward to see what you do next. Wherever you're at, stay safe. Take care. Thank you.